Hello, this is Mr. Buffington from Simplify Academy, and we are writing algebraic expressions today. We're going to look at some math words and talk about what they mean. Then we'll write some expressions, and then we are going to put in some variables, which maybe sound a little bit complicated, but um, I'll make them, it'll, it'll all make sense. All right. Let's talk about some math words. There are math words for these different operations, addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. Some common math words for addition are sum. When two numbers are added together, you get a sum. When two numbers are multiplied together, you get a product. And when two numbers are divided, it's called a quotient. And when two numbers are subtracted, it's called a difference. This is the result of doing these operations. There are some other words that we often use to mean these operations as well. For example, we could say altogether or total for addition. We could say less than or reduced by for subtraction. Division might talk about equal groups or half and multiplication we can use the word times or double or sometimes even use the word of to mean multiplication. So these are several different words. There's one other word I want to add on the end there and that's for addition. We can sometimes use the word and but and does not always mean addition. So that's just it's just something you have to read and see the context. Now let's talk about an unknown. An unknown is when we don't know a number. Sometimes um, we just call it something, right? We need to call it something that we have no idea what it is. All right? For example, I have four more than you, right? If I have four more than you have, this means that you start with something, whatever it is, and then you add four to figure out how many I have. But we don't know how many you have. So we could write it out as a math equation like u plus 4 or whatever you have plus 4. We could write out an entire sentence, the amount that you have plus 4. And, and that just becomes complex. So we start labeling these unknown values using variables. It's to make things easier. We just give an unknown value a letter. For example, Instead of saying Jim, I'll just use the letter J. Instead of saying a number, I can just use N. These letters are called variables. That's what they are. The most common variable is the letter X. You'll see that in equations and expressions all the time, solving for that letter X, okay? That's what a variable is. It's just a place filler. So let's talk about multiplying real quick because multiplying, um, oftentimes we see that letter X as a symbol for multiplying. Because X is also a variable, this becomes confusing. So moving forward and throughout the course up to this point, I've been trying to show this dot, meaning multiplication, instead of using an X. And that's what we're going to be using moving forward. 5 times 2 would be written 5 dot 2. It means multiplication, and it's so that we don't have that x in there. So it's a little less complex. Also, if you just have a number and a letter right next to each other, like 4n, it means 4 times that number, n, right? When there's no operation written in there, it means multiplication. So that's an important thing that changes when we use variables. Multiplication is just about the only one that changes. For the other ones, you'll still write in a plus or a minus, or for division, you can use the division symbol, or you can use a fraction. All of that doesn't change when we bring in variables, but multiplication does change a little bit. So I wanted to address that as we're moving forward. Now let's get into actually writing expressions. When you're writing an expression, you're basically taking an English sentence like the sum of a number and three, and you're writing it in a math expression like n plus three. Sum means addition, a number and three. We don't know what the number is, so we'd put n there, n plus three. That's some number plus three, or the sum of 
a number, we don't know what it is yet, and three. And that's the way that we would write it. See, for me, the math sentence makes more sense. N plus three. It's, it's simple. And that's what we do here at Simplify Academy. We simplify. So we're taking word phrases and simplifying them into math expressions. Here's another one. Three more than the product of five and a number. This one here is more complicated. And we're going to get into the mechanics of how this works here in just a little bit. But just for your information, that would be written like this. The product of five and a number is five times a number, and it's three more than that amount. So we would be adding three on the end. We could also write it like this according to what we just talked about. The product of five and a number could just be five next to it. That means you're multiplying, and product is multiplying. So this is a simplified way of, of saying this entire sentence. And that's what we're doing today. So let's go ahead and write some expressions, um, some, uh, some more expressions as we practice this idea. First off, the quotient of 15 and a number. So think about what that means, quotient of 15 and a number. Quotient means division, 15 is 15, and a number we don't know, we're going to put in n. Right? We could also write this as a fraction, 15 over n. This looks very similar to the lesson that we did on numeric expressions, where we're writing numbers in there for that. We would say the quotient of 15 and 3. Right? Instead, we're just putting the variable in there. That's the main difference between variable expressions and numeric expressions. So we've done a lot of this before. We're just inserting a variable into it. Let's go to our next one. Two less than the quotient of 15 and a number. With this one, we're taking that quotient of 15 and a number, and then we're subtracting two off the end. Remember that less than phrase? We spent a lot of time with numeric expressions talking about it. If you start a sentence saying two less than something, what it means is you're starting with whatever that is, in this case, quotient of 15 in a number, and then taking two away afterwards. The less than phrase is the most complex of all writing expressions or all written expressions. All right, let's practice a little bit and see what happens. We're going to practice with some simpler ones and then move forward into a little bit more advanced. Let's try this. Seven more than X. 7 more than x. How would we write that as a math sentence, or in other words, an expression, or completely, more accurately, a variable expression? Well, it would be x plus 7, right? 7 more than x means you start with x and then you add 7. How about this? 3 minus a number. That one's pretty straightforward. We start with 3 and then we subtract a number, n. And that's how we do this. All right, now let's get into a little bit of an activity. I want you to pause and practice. Look at these word phrases on the left and the math expressions on the right, and I want you to connect them together. Go ahead and pause to do this matching activity. Welcome back. Did your lines look like this? You probably thought, man, Mr. Buffington is messing with me by just drawing the line straight across. And maybe I was a little bit. I'm kind of a weirdo that way. All right. Six less than a number is a number minus six. A number less than six would be six minus that number. Right? Remember that less than phrase means it goes at the end. So six less than means we start with the number and then subtract six. And it works the same way with the second phrase. 15 tar times a number is 15x, or 15n. It could be any variable. It could be 15a, 15b. It doesn't matter. It's just 15 times something. We don't know what it is. All right, 15 more than x is x plus 15. Now let's look at this matching. You think I'm going to do it again? Think I'm going to draw those straight lines? Well, I guess you're going to have to see. Pause and practice. 
h divided by 4, h minus 4, h added to 4, and h times 4. Look at the um, word phrases on the left, the math expressions on the right. Go. All right, here we go. And can you believe it? I did it again. All straight lines. Man, oh man. What's, what's coming next? All right, h divided by 4 is written as a fraction of h over 4. h minus 4 is subtraction. h added to 4 would be h plus 4. Or you could have switched those to being 4 plus h. Both would be correct because h is adding, you're adding 4 to h. You're adding h to 4. The order with addition can be changed. So it actually doesn't matter. But h times 4 would be also written there at the bottom for h. Okay. Now let's look at this. We've got one more matching. With this one, I have two word phrases on the left. I've got three expressions on the right. Go ahead and try to solve half of b and v doubled. Uh oh half of b is b divided by 2 and v doubled is 2v. I like my little joke in there. D v doubled is w. In French, the the number or the, the letter w is double v, which is actually v doubled, which I think is kind of fun. All right, a couple of things to remember. Know the words. Remember what the words mean and then a variable is just a letter that takes the place of a number. So moving forward, x will not mean multiplication anymore. It will mean an unknown value. So make sure that you take note of that. I hope that this video lesson was helpful for you. Have a wonderful day.